Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic G Plays Enter the Gungeon. Today we are going to be playing as the pilot who comes equipped with a swanky hairdo, a lockpick and cheaper shop items. So um, I unlocked these guys last round. Well, Frifle, there's nothing for it. We're going to be stuck up here for a while. But the fight must go on. The gun dead aren't going anywhere. You there, scoundrel. Looks like you're headed down again. Listen up. There's monsters down there that need killing. What my bracing friend is trying to say, we've collected a number of powerful relics on our adventures. In exchange for our services, your services below, but in exchange for your services exterminating the fiends below, we'd be willing to part with some of them. You up to the task? Yeah, let's do it. No, I'm pacifist. Outstanding. For your first contract, you shall hunt the most dangerous game of all, Bullet Man. Kill 200 and return him. And now you have to make it down the hard way. And what about you? Yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> he does not say anything more, is what I've learned there. We still have these chaps. 15 hedge money credits. Oh, ho, ho, ho. shuffle off. And dot, dot, dot. So we've got the five that we need to get into the, um, to, we need the ten that we need to give to him. Hot lead. Let's get the RPG, I guess. And then we've got the ten to give to, um, the elevator man. So he should be unlocking the second, the first floor skip elevator this, uh, episode, which is great. More progress. So last run was easily our best run ever. Which was nice. Uh, hopefully we can make this run work just as well. Right. Step one, let's clear out this room. Got it. Any more enemies? Yes. Oh, it's an angry book. There you go. Room clear. Continue on. Let's um, try and take out the guys with AKs first. They're easily the most annoying. And they don't have any more health. Oh, the ghost. Oh! So, um... Whoa! Apologies to everyone who just heard that. Um, train just went past my house. That was very loud. Um, so... What did we do last run that got us so far? I think it was... I think we can definitely put it down to one. The, uh, blank. Oh, a key. That's brilliant. Uh, one, that e the Elder Blank, which was very powerful. Two, the um, full heal we got before the fourth floor boss, I believe. Yes. And um, five, defeating What's-His-Face, who gave us a bunch of armor stuff. Ah, here's the shop. What is this? The Crestfaller. Armor, keys, and a heart. Hmm. Well, it's cheaper, so that's actually like a 40, 50 cost weapon there, so I might look at getting that. Oh, grenade. Okay. Well, that room kind of cleared itself out. Uh, okay, then. Oh, ghost. Let's just hide behind the wall here. So, um, advantages and disadvantages of the rogue. He's... I think his starting weapon is probably one of the weakest because its accuracy is so poor. But I definitely... Oh, chest. Oh, what's this? Ring of Fiscally... Fis, miserly Protection. Increases health substantially. Any purchases will shatter the ring. Huh. Now that's interesting. So... <coughs> oh, wow. <coughs> Two health upgrades. Mm. That's interesting. Because now... The rogue is most advantageous when he buys stuff because he gets the cheaper prices and things. But two health is really big. Um, I guess for now we'll just stick to not buying anything. And um, we'll see how that takes us. Oh, mellow. I can see late. maybe we accumulate some money. And then when we get to... Um, oh, hello. I did not realise you stood out here. When we get to, like, floor four or whatever, um, and uh, we've, only, we've lost our extra hearts, then at that point maybe we can spend like a hundred on getting like 70 things or something. Is that the room cleared? That is the room cleared. Anyone? So this seems like a pretty good start. I'll just have to rely on getting up. Um... Next time I see this though, 
don't pick it up until you've bought the keys and stuff. Right. At least we're going to be able to open both chests on this floor. So, I did learn something. Uh, I was It was a tweet from Dodroll, the guys that made this. Um, if an enemy hits you, they do not drop money. Which is interesting, because it means the money you get off bosses only drops if you hit something. Oh, hello. The Mega Dowser. Contents under pressure. Now, I've been told that this weapon is important in some way. I don't know how, though. Oh. Um, what? Spray all the water. Such a bad weapon. C could you please stop? My accuracy with this weapon is appalling, but it's so much fun. Right. What's this? Oh, I did something. Oh, hello. What is this? This requires two keys to get in. Okay, this is definitely something important. So, uh, well, we're going to try and get those two keys. I don't know if it's the work. Like, we might have to buy keys. And I don't know if it's worth the two health we lose. We've certainly got the money for two keys. Oh, hello. Um. Haha! -ha! The lockpick works. Oh. Well, the lockpick worked, I guess. I wonder if you can use the lockpick on those, um... That chest thing. That would be interesting. So, uh, looks like we're getting towards the boss. I don't know what exactly I just did there, but it worked. Okay, here's the boss. So, we're hoping for, like, a key drop. Or maybe one of those rare... Ah, oh, well, there goes the money and the boss and the uh, health upgrade. It's those off sprays that he does. Oh. Apparently had... Oh, I should probably stop walking into him, shouldn't I? <laughs> ah, missile time. Good. Um, okay. So if you just stay close to him, he doesn't shoot. Um, well, I'll be using this knowledge in the future. That seems like a really easy way to flawless that boss. So we've got health, we've got money, we've got the scrambler. Nothing else. So can we get two keys in our shop? No, there's only one. So let's go see if I can um, unlock one with the lockpick. No, okay, so we're never getting into that room, whatever it is. So uh, next time I guess we get the Mega Dowser. Uh, we saved two keys, I don't know. Uh, let's see what the scrambler's like. But we're heading down to floor two with five health. No keys, which is unfortunate. And we're going to be giving 10 hedge mini credits to the elevator man. Why you'd want to skip the floor, I don't understand. But, you know. Right, the dungeon proper. Uh, come on, drop. Down we go. Hola. Yes. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, meet me in the breach when you're done here. Awesome. Oh, it <laughs> Well done. So there you go. We have unlocked the thing. So what is this gun like? Um, pretty shit, apparently. Oh. Uh, I don't know what this gun is like. I... Oh, you know a gun's bad when it doesn't kill the bullet in one shot. Maybe I should just switch back to the Rogue Special. <laughs> I appear to have some very interesting weapons. Let's try using the Scrambler. 
Okay, so it, it kills that in one shot. Okay, so it seems pretty strong, actually. I might use that for um, the boss fight. Oh, not this guy. Oh. Oh, come on. I hate those cubes so much. Okay. Yeah, that room's clear. Bad damage, but at least we cleared the room. Another one? They take, they take so much damage as well. Oh, the little bullets make such cute noises. Uh, I just realised we should probably open our Anonomicon Maguire. Water gum actually pour up the in most cases are true, but well placed bar of water can douse a raging inferno. A soaked enemy can be electrified, a day's focus can be pushed into the abyss. Gundry creativity is the key to victory. The scrambler fires unhatched bullet eggs, each close to hatching. Oh, okay, this seems like a... Oops. Huh. What? Been cleared? Been cleared. Right. Let's go to the next room. The Mega Dazzler has some serious knockback. I def oh, oh, there's that key. I definitely feel like oh, and there's a chest. What was this? Your armor, body, uh, armor of thorns. Your body is a weapon. Great increases dodge roll damage. Okay, and it gave me an armor. Oh, I did not need to use the blank there. The altar is empty. Do nothing. Well, we're one blank down, which is obsessive, but a oh, lot. Well. Rogue special because the Mega Dowser's almost out of ammo, and I feel like there was a guy down there. I didn't even see him. Ah, well, there goes that armor. That's very upsetting. Bit more money. We'll continue on. I wonder how much this dodge roll damage does now. Like. Could I potentially kill these guys? Yes! Okay, that's quite a significant increase in damage. I wonder if I could use that as like... I wonder if that's like a viable mechanic like... No, it's the answer. <laughs> Maybe not when they... Okay. Um, come on. No, no, I need to stop being stupid. So for what enemies that shoot, okay, so it, it one-shots things. Oh, okay, this seems like a really powerful thing if I if I can time it right. <laughs> this is great. Ah, uh, it's almost killed me, but you know, still great. <laughs> Definitely not going to be useful against bosses, but oh. Come on. Wow, it one-shots those guys. Okay, that's interesting. We found a shop. We haven't had a shop. A grappling hook. Table tech money. Armor. Uh, ammo and a key. Nothing I'm willing to lose two health technically over. So, um, let's continue on, shall we? This uh, armor of thorns seems really powerful. Ah. Okay, okay, I'm just I'm gonna get myself killed if I keep trying to do this. It definitely seems oh you were half heart, that's good. It's definitely something which could be used to good effect. But I don't think I have the required skill. <laughs> like you've gotta tie it into the I oh dear, this is bad. Um where's my good weapon? Uh. That that was close. Okay, another room down. Okay, okay, so here's our boss fight. So actually we've already explored everything else, so it looks like we're going to some boss fight on one HP. We're fighting the beholster. That's not good.
Ah, like really hard to dodge those rockets. I mean, I know I'm not technically meant to. Like I'm meant to just hit them. No. Nope. Come on. Oh, I got him. Okay. Phew. I think I took damage. Yeah, I did take damage at some point. But we did... Oh, you. Die. We got some health, some armor, and the disintegrator returned to dust. So, let's have a look at the Aminoka. What have we got? Fires a beam that dis... Uh, Decohers matter into its constituent particles. Oh, I just realized we have a lockpick. So, uh, heading to first floor. Um, not as bad off as we were. It's just... Nope. Okay, never mind. Uh, we might have to get health, actually, if we shoot it. Ugh. No, just uh, junk. Right, next time use a key. Yes, I planned it. So, this seems like a great boss fight weapon. Oh. And by it, the scrambler looks like a good root clearer because it, um, you know, it kind of like jumps between enemies. Like you hit one and then it curves around to the rest. So if you kill something, the leftover matter will deal with them. So, uh, it seems like we've got a pretty good setup going to this floor. It's just a case of can we be not bad? The fact that if it misses the um yeah the little unhatched bullets still do stuff. Very powerful. Okay, yeah, the scrambler's working pretty decently. I'm a big fan of this weapon. It's no glacier, like I think we had in the last run, which was absolutely amazing. But you know. Right. You on to the next room. We have some mushrooms and some frogs. Which I can only refer to as froggets because of Undertale, but you know. Right. So it does one shot these guys. Technically, once all the little bullets have hit. So that's good. So we're starting to approach a sizable sum of money. But, I, I don't know. Oh, this is a horrible room. <sighs> I'm so bad. Everything dead yet? Apparently not. No. Well, they are now. Right. Huh. Taking that armor damage was something that I shouldn't have done. But I wasn't focused. Oh, hello. Who? what is this? The hexagon. What's this do? Oh, hello. Hey, paying a few things on the road. C4, drum clip, and cigarettes. No thanks. Uh, large empty room. So let's, let's try out the hexagon. Oh, uh, this seems pretty strong, yeah. Uh, let's try using this for a while. So, so I think it pierces. Oh. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay, right. So I think we recharge the scrambler because it is definitely serving as ridiculously useful, and we'll save the hexagon maybe for a boss fight. Although the instant kill with the hexagon is really strong. Ah, uh, but the Scrambler technically does more than an insta-kill because of the way that it kind of jumps between enemies. I don't know, we have... Oh, almost identical rooms. I feel like we have a lot of very powerful weapons right now, and I'm not experienced enough with the game to know which weapons are good against which enemies. But yeah, like, two shots just cleared out three enemies, so... Scrambler definitely feels like a good choice. Oh, uh, so these are poisonous. Okay, that is good to know, because I remember I died to that once. Uh, oh, this is a horrible room. 
Also, you don't have to hit with the scrambler. Which I think is the nicest thing. You just kind of fire and the bullets are like, we'll find the enemy, don't worry. Unless you shoot it point blank into a wall. Oh! <laughs> bye bye. Eventually catch him. Oh, there's a blue wizard somewhere. Got him. Right. Now we have our shop. Is there anything in the shop that I would conceivably buy? Three blanks, three keys, a Molotov, and a Lich Trigger Finger. Nope, nothing in there looks extremely important. If there was like three hearts and a um, oh, if there were like three hearts and an armor, I might be willing to part with it just so I could get back to like full health. Because right now these two um empty heart containers, oh there you go, are doing absolutely nothing for us. What is this? Hello. You put forth that a name such as you can never clear this fourth going room without dodge rolling. Prove the cannon will reward the camps for me. I accept your challenge. So I've got to do this room without dodge rolling. Okay. Uh, let's get the hexagon out because it insta kills things. Oh, or not. Uh, oh no! I'm an idiot. Oh, oh, I'm an absolute moron. <sighs> Why? I didn't even have to dodge roll there, I could have just walked. What is this? Explosive decoy. Oh, I'm so bad! Right, let's look at a new weapon. Can transmogrify foes. Okay, so that can t change people to something else. Creates enemies, then it distracts enemies, then explodes. Okay. I feel like such an idiot. Ugh. Right. No, stay away with me with your poison and stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, that just turned it into a chicken. That's pretty cool. Okay. Die, chicken. <laughs> Die, potato. Not today. So here's our boss. There's no health available on the floor. So let's go in using our disintegrator. Okay. What are we fighting? The cannon Balrog. Okay. It's doable. Okay, that did a ton of damage. Where'd he go? Come on, okay. So as long as we're hitting this beam, we're doing... This weapon is amazing. Got him! Okay. The disintegrator putting in lots of work. We got some hegemony credits, we got some armor, we got a mastery chamber which is an extra health, and we got ballot, vote of confidence. Ballot, this ballot is proof of the participation in the democratic process. Um, okay then, good to know. Okay, so we're going down to floor four with the uh, scrambler. Six health, although we haven't been on max health for a long time. And, um, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. We're back to the hollow. So, it looks like I've definitely gotten better. Or maybe I'm just being carried. Oh, God. Oh, ow. I'm not sure what just happened. It looked like I took armor damage. Oh, yeah, I did. That red enemy is a nightmare. <laughs> right, maybe let's try our new active on this, this room. Okay, it seems to have done very little. Oh, so the enemies start going for it. Okay. Please stop. Please stop. Please leave me alone. 
<laughs> Go away. <laughs> nope, I can't do it. <laughs> Too many enemies. You need to die. And these massive red slimes also. Okay. That was scary. Right. <laughs> okay, the hollow apparently didn't like how easy I had the last run. And has decided to up. What on earth is that? Oh, they hope! Whose idea was this? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he died. Okay. This is okay. This floor is kindly trying to whoop my backside. We're not gonna let it. I've done this before, I can do it again. As long as I find a full heal before the boss. <laughs> okay. And then I can just dodge roll through them. Because of my armor. So I wonder how much the dodge roll is actually increased by, because killing those guys seems really strong. Oh. Where'd the ghost go? It went up there. Priority number one is of course killing the ghost. Can you die? More? Yes. You done? No. We have another ghost to deal with. Okay, so one shot does actually kill that ghost. Oh. You know, if you hit. Oh god, what is this? Where did you come from? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because you're dead now. Right, you're getting quite a lot of health drops, which is really helpful. Right, I might as well use the explosive deal. Like, if we do that. Okay, so they just start shooting at it. That seems pretty strong, actually, now that I think about it. As long as I, like, I use it and then jump to the other side of the room to shoot at it. What is that? Okay, just some undead gun dead. Oh god, there's a laser. Who designed this room? Right. Oh, okay, there's a cell key, okay. We do not die until we've unlocked this cell. Where's this necromancer hiding? Pit Lord. Okay, um, I'm assuming that's knocking enemies into a pit. Oh, there you are. Oh, now. We're still not done? Are you serious? Come on. Okay, so they summon, like, the elite are dead. Where are they going? Over there. <laughs> well, whatever was over there, whatever was over there, it died. Right, I'm really looking for a shop now. Like, I have so much money, this is ridiculous. Oh god, it's one of these rooms. Actually, no, these rooms are fine with the weapon I've got. I just... Keep firing. And yeah, the bullets will take care of everything. <laughs> we done? We done. Another half heart. Whew. We're tracking. Right. I, I, I don't appreciate the joke. Right, do we have any... We do not want this weapon, so... I believe it's D to drop... No. F to drop a weapon? Yeah. I have my weapon. Yay, money. And you can drop items, can't you? Um, what about, I, I've heard that if you go into here, you can drop, oh. Okay, so if you do it like, drop. Okay, so we can sell the junk. Okay, so it isn't useless. We have so much money, this is, and the ballot seems completely useless. That was a lot of money. Okay, um, don't drop the mastery chamber. Everything else seems really useful. Ah, I don't want to lose these two hearts though. It seems so not worth it, considering the fact that if we get a full heal, we're up to six HP. Okay, oh, wrong weapon. Oh, th this is a wall, I thought this was a pit. Everything over in that general section of life can just, just, just leave defense. Okay, so while the enemies are di while the enemies are dying, the bullets still home on them. 
Oh, hello. 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 Okay. One down. It's two down. Okay. Oh, these are tables. Oh, got spread poison. Okay. Good to know. We're down to six scramble bullets, which probably will be enough for this room, I expect. One more shot, and then we have to switch weapon. Oh, there they are. Where are the enemies? Uh, I guess we'll switch to the hexagon for now. Oh, the room's done. I was like, Wait, when's the room going to be done? And then finished. Okay, so there's our boss fight. So I'm wondering if the decoy distracts the boss. That seems like it would be pretty powerful. What's this? Shrine to Ike Hedrix, the Great Arbiter. Roll the bones. Disarmed plus shielded. Okay, so it's stole my hexagon, but gave me free armor. I feel like I can't be mad, considering right now weapons, like I don't have a room clearing weapon now, I just have my boss fight weapon, but, oh god, but considering, oh please no, considering I have my boss fight available to me, uh, I don't feel like I need a room clearing weapon, except, you know, for this room it would have been great. <laughs> just, just say it. Ugh. Please just die. Please just, please, 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 please just stop. They have so much health. I'm not used to using this horrific weapon. Um, right, next room. Now I do have a blank if I want to use it. Oh god, no. I'm done with that room already. Okay. So, what are we, uh, what's in here? We've got some of these ice slimes. Which aren't really hard to dodge if you're paying attention. Right, let's take this guy down. Good work. Oh, we've got little guys. Oh, uh, squish. Never has something been more satisfying than rolling over and squishing like five guys. Okay, so we're going to have to use the lockpick for this. No, oh, that sucks. But we might get some health. Well, no, we got a shotgun. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, there's our Selkie. Yeah, I forgot. Unlock. Hello, my rescuer. I know you had no choice but to vanquish my fellow lot to free me and a fortune sacrifice my necessary one. Come by my shop whenever you see me. There are many things in my store. So we've got another shop NPC, which is awesome. Okay, so there's a chest up here that I should probably go try and... Oh, hello. Sorry, just um, tabbed out the game. Uh, we might as well break this. Oh, God! Why? 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 Put Stop moving! I'm going to die to this thing. I, it just took like seven shotgun shots. I can't believe that. <sighs> we got the Book of Chest Autonomy at me, which I guess tells you when there's a mimic. That's That was so stupid. We ended with 261 money. Well, it was a 31 minute run, so I'm going to say that's our only run of the day. Thanks for watching. My name is Tyler Gaming, and I will see you guys next time on Enter the Gungeon.